What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today I'm gonna to be giving you three sneaky moves that's gonna catch your defender slipping. Let's get to it. So the three sneaky finishes are all gonna be at the rim to catch your defender off guard and help you to finish. However, I'm also gonna give you two bonus ways to set these up to help you get to the rim. So the first one is gonna be a fake DHO. DHO is just a dribble handoff. So typically when you start at the top of the key and you start dribbling towards the wing, this is gonna be a handoff. But we're gonna dribble this way pretty slowly because we're not actually attacking anything. We're just relaxed, we're selling this handoff. And then, boom, change our speed once we fake the handoff to attack the basket. The second way is gonna be a fake screen similar to a reject, but we actually don't even need a screen there. So you see some guards will point or beckon to have a screen come. So one thing that I like to do a lot is once we're here, we'll point as if we want a ball screen to come, and typically what happens is the defender will start to put their hands out or turn their head to look, and now their attention is diverted towards the screen coming. So I might be here and point there, so now the defender is looking for a screen or start to call for a screen and then quickly attack the other direction. So this is two great ways to set up the sneaky finishes. So the first finish is gonna be our inside hand sneak, meaning when I drive left, I finish right. When I drive right, I finish left. What I wanna be able to do is drive left side and then jump off the left foot. This way I'm only taking one step to the rim, where normally I'd be going one, two, and bring that left foot up. I'm now gonna jump off the left foot so it's just one. And now from this quick step, I'm able to extend my inside hand finish turn my shoulders to my defender and get that really, really quickly off the glass. So I'm driving, boom, boom, defense is here, and then I stretch past them and extend that finish with the inside hand sneak so I can get it up a little bit quicker there, but they're not ready for that. So let's say I'm starting with this fake dribble handoff. I could be here, pretend, pretend, boom, fake it, and then quickly inside hand sneak with that right hand to get it up before they're ready to block it. Now you would do the exact same thing on the right side. You gotta make sure you practice both sides. So you drive right, jump off the right foot, and then we inside hand sneak with the left hand. It's good to have this one underhand, especially to get it stretched out quicker, but sometimes if you get bumped and you're moving towards that, side, uh, moving towards that baseline, you might need to get it quickly overhand where you'll see players falling out of bounds have a nice soft floater off the glass. So work on it mostly underhand as a sneak, but it's good to have that backup overhand in case you get bumped out of bounds. Now the second move is gonna be our up and under. The best way that I've seen players set this up is with a spin or a half spin. Because once you create separation, then you create a closeout. So let's say I'm in the post and I'm doing a half spin. Boom, drop the right foot. I move the defense down here, and then I take a huge step towards the free throw line. Now that I got a wide stance, it forces the defense to cover a lot of ground to the ball. This could be a post hook, a floater, or a fadeaway. From here, the ball is about attached to my ear. I'm gonna get it over my head and then step through. From there, I can jump off two feet to be safe and never get called for a travel. I can jump off one foot, which is still not a travel, but some refs like to call it, so you can work on either or. I suggest working off two because it's safer, but you can do it off one also because it's not a travel, you just might get called for it. So, I'm half spin, step towards the free throw line, ball on ear, ball goes overhead, this is where a lot of players mess up, to the other ear, and as I step through, I can now finish this layup. But make sure that you have a really good pump fake and pairing this pump fake with the separation of the feet. So, boom, come here, big step, nice pump fake, step through, finish layup. But if you're a guard, you're probably not gonna have it in the post. So the way you're gonna set it up is by driving from the lane, and what you can do is get into a spin move or a half spin. So now by hitting the spin move, I can bounce left. I haven't picked up the ball yet, but this is gonna be my pivot foot. Right, now the right foot is my pivot foot. So this is the same exact position we were in before. Pump fake, step through. I'll walk through it one more time. But I'm gonna be driving to the left, boom, dribble, left foot, right? One hand has the ball, so now I can establish this as my pivot foot. Up and under. If I happen to go dribble and pick up here, now as I pivot, my right foot is my pivot foot. So I don't want my right foot to be my pivot foot. I want my left to be my pivot foot. So now I'm fine, and now I can step through and get into my finish. But make sure that you step far, make sure you get your eyes on the rim and the ball to your ear, because you really want to sell that shot. One of the most common mistakes with this is when we get into the up and under, players go here and then here. 
and they step through with the ball going through more of their chest or their stomach area so the ball can get stolen and exposed because you've got that defender to jump and their body's right there. So by coming here and over, I'm trying to get skinny as that defense jumps through and now I can step through and get into my finish. I don't want to have that ball hit them in their body and get ripped even if the defender couldn't rip it. So make sure you get it over and get a big long step so you can sell the fake, make them close out, and now you're at the rim. The last one that we're working on is going to be our contact finish, but we're going to be doing this one in the air. And this is why it throws your defender off and it's kind of sneaky because we're driving and as they're on our hip, what we're actually going to do is elevate and jump on top of them. So defense is here, I'm going to jump on top of my defender with the ball extended as much as possible and now that I elevate on top of them, I will take all the contact in my ribs. I'm jumping on top of the defender and then what happens is all of their explosiveness and athleticism gets taken away. So let's say I'm driving against a guy with a 50 inch vertical. Well, if I jump on top of him, he has zero, none, nothing left. He can't jump at all. So I jump on top of him, I extend the ball away. The most he can do is try to reach for the ball up top, but then I'm gonna bring the ball back to my shoulder and finish the layup. So walking through it, we're pushing downhill, right? Maybe we started with a fake screen where I'm here and then I drive, defense is on my side. And then what I'm gonna do from here is jump on top of them and then finish that layup right there. So it involves some athleticism here, but I do have some young players who have mastered this finish as well. And when you watch a lot of players, this is a great way to create a better angle at the basket. So I'm driving this way, I jump on top of them to create that angle that I need, and then I finish that layup off the glass. But now that I jump on top of them, it's so quick, I'll show you the footwork here so you can master it as well. But it's quick, we get on top of them, we take away all of their explosiveness, all of their athleticism, they cannot contest us, and the most that they can do is actually foul us. So, let's start with this fake screen. We push down, my footwork is left, right. So I get into a little bit of a gather there. Left, right, this way I can push my body into them. So I'm driving, left, right, jump, and then finish. But now that I jump on top of them, it allows me to be a lot safer, draw more fouls, and then I can finish without having them jump with me or contest my shot at all. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Slow.